So guys, uh, here is the last video from this uh, set of SAP GUI protocol. Uh, so I want you to have a quick uh, look into this runtime settings or RTS and the recording options. Okay, uh, so have a uh, quick look at this runtime settings. Okay, and the recording options for this SAP GUI protocol. So let's have a quick look at it. So and compare, you know, I want you to look at it and uh, so that you, can, you will be able to compare it with the uh, recording options and runtime settings for the web HTTP HTML protocol. Okay, so I'll be looking at it in, in, in those lines as to compare it with the web HTTP HTML. So <clears throat> let's go to the recording options. Where can you go from the recording options? You, on the top bar, you can click on that or you can click on recording and then you can go to the recording options, whichever way you are comfortable with. So hardly there are any options you can see. If you go to web HTTP HTML script, let me quickly create a web HTTP HTML script. Okay. Yeah, it's a little slow my system. I don't know why. So web HTTP HTML. So let's, let's quickly create one script. Okay. Now you go to the recording options for this script. Okay. So for the web, there are quite a few options. Okay, there are quite a few options when you're talking about web, web, web HTTP HTML script. But that's not the same when we talk about this uh, uh, SAP GUI protocol. You see, for the SAP GUI script, there are hardly any recording options. So one of the main reason is we don't have correlations. Okay, since we don't have correlations, automatically most of the options from runtime settings and recording options are gone. Okay. And one more difference that I've seen is the language it supports. So whatever the custom scripting that you have to do for the SAP GUI protocol, that's on C language. But if you're going with web HTTP HTML, so there are two options, which is C and JavaScript. So we don't have JavaScript for SAP GUI protocol. So that's one of the, one of, one of the things I want you to pay attention to. And this windows is same. These options are all same. Okay. Let's not worry about that. And when you compare with the web HTTP HTML, they're pretty much same. The general. Okay. So this is one thing I have done by accidentally. If you have, if you have said regular snapshot or none, uh, you'll not be able to see the snapshots while recording and snapshots play a very, very important role when you have to do any enhancements in the script. Okay, like capturing something uh, from the screens, you know, you wanted to insert something into the screen, you wanted to, you know, after the recording is done, you wanted to do some custom scripting, it's all usually done through the snapshots. And this is a very, very important thing that you need to have. By default, it will be there. But don't accidentally change it, you know, uh, if you if you're planning to do some custom scripting on that. So that's one thing that I want you to pay attention to. And code generation. If you have seen the whole logon piece of code is generated as one single step. So, um, 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 so uh, this is important. I want you to keep that one. And uh, these are the standard options. Okay. And then the auto logon, you want the application to log on automatically. So you can enable the auto logon, you can give all the server names and all that and the username and password and all this. So usually this information uh, is typically something that you get from the developer. This is the same information I have given. Uh, uh, what do I say? Um, so let me close this. Uh, this is the same information that I have given as a connection string over here as well. So whatever the information that I have given that the server name, as you can see over here, and then the SID, username, password, client, language, everything I have provided here. You see client language and all the information that I've provided over here on the SAP logon launchpad, you have to provide the same information over here with the username and password, then you will be able to automatically log in. So I don't think you really need to do that because you know, however, the script will capture that login piece of code or the login part. Okay. while recording and you would want to even capture the response times for that. So um, it's up to you whether you wanted to do it, but typically this is not done. Okay. Uh, so that's about it for the recording options. Now let's have a quick look at the RTS. RTS means run time settings popularly call it as popularly people call it as RTS. So let's go to the RTS. Let's go to the RTS. Run logic is same. How many number of times you wanted to run and all that you will be able to give it over here. Okay, pacing and log on and think time. It's all same. So this option, the general options are all same. So 
and the network option is all same when we compared with web http html so i'm not going to go through all of them so <clears throat> i'm i'm going to go through the only those options which are specific to sap gui protocol but however in my trainings all of it is covered guys if you go for my trainings everything is covered but these videos you know a lot of students who call me they already know web http html and they wanted to get a sneak peek into this sap gui protocol so i'm creating these videos in those lines okay i hope you understand uh, the the background from which i am making these videos so that's the reason why i am creating these videos as comparing to the web http html in every single aspect or you know in, in every single way so <clears throat> well having said this uh, let's look at this runtime settings so uh, all these options are pretty much similar to what it is there for web HT, uh, web http html so i'll skip that but again however i'm telling guys if you're enrolling for my sap gui protocol course you know i'll be covering each option in very in detail i mean in detail okay so log messages on the error the log messages is what they are talking about this an output replay log what kind of messages you wanted to see in this output replay log so send status uh, send status bar text what they mean by status bar is so <clears throat> so let me let me go to the sap gui log on launchpad so that i'm going to show you what is that status bar So this is the status bar. You see at the bottom, this is the status bar. So usually any errors, any messages, any issues, everything will be shown on the status bar. So whatever the message, right now what is the message that you see on the status bar? Purchase requisition, uh, what is that? Purchase document has something called, you know, changes not possible, okay? So there is something called purchase document has release indicator R, changes not possible so that is the message that you're seeing at the status bar if you want to capture the status bar into the into the output log if you wanted to see whatever the message that you're seeing on the status bar to be shown on the output log you know then you have to select this option and every window has a title okay active window title do you want to see that as a part of the log you know you have to select it typically you can put it as yes okay and this is a very very important option show sap client during replay so when i've played back if you have seen that when i've played back the script okay when i've played back the script the sap screen is showing up you see this is the sap screen now it is showing up why because in the runtime settings i said yes okay if you uncheck that you'll not be able to see this okay if you uncheck that you'll not be able to see this so you're able to see this because i said show sap client during replay okay and very very important thing when you upload the script into the controller you have to uncheck it you have to uncheck it otherwise uh, your controller will be a mess okay if you're running with 50 all of a sudden you see 50 windows popping up and they don't know what to do and within no time the the the, the controller machine will be frozen okay so i would suggest definitely uncheck it when making sure the script is going into the controller okay and while you're playing back you wanted to take the snapshots you can select that but i'm telling you your log will become huge if you select this option i don't think you have to but if you're really hellbent on doing it and you wanted to see it definitely you can take the snapshots so these are the options that i wanted to pay attention to when you and careful about when you're playing back the scripts so thank you guys you have looks like um, um uh, I don't, I'm not sure, but if you have enjoyed the videos, this last four videos on the SAP GUI, uh, you can like it, you can subscribe to my channel and keep watching this uh, uh, channel for more uh, uh, videos. Thank you so much for giving you me your time and uh, listening to these videos.